Hi everyone, welcome back. This may be the last, uh, second last video of the Swell Kit playlist. And here I want to talk about uh, a really nice library for writing the Swell Kit forms, mostly client side. It does provide a client side validations and all, so you don't need to deal with the basic form validations and all. Like we have reactive forms, formic, reactive, react hook forms, multiple libraries are there, right? Which I have worked in the past. Similarly, the felt AI is recently explored. And this is really nice if you want to write a simple form and do the validation. Create form and it's easy to set up. Just use form, uh, get the create form and this create form function will give you the form object, all the test property and all. And you if it will use a default own submit handler. If you haven't written anything, when you click on sign in, on submit will give you all the values. So you can define the validation criteria with the help of JORD or YUP based on some schema. Okay, so maybe we'll talk about this. When you submit the data, these are the handlers you can define. When you submit it, it triggers on submit with the values and context. And you can also update the context based on if you want to add some additional validation. And you can see this context object contains a lot of things. So I will just showcase a simple example. If you want to explore it more, you can just start using this library maybe. Uh, we are using Yup validator like JORD. There is a JORD validator. Similarly, Yup. This is the simple schema. Item should be of an array, and the string should be. I mean, this is an items of any array of five elements, and individual elements should have a string of minimum one and maximum five characters. And here we are using creating the form. It gives us all these object: the test property, the form, and data property and error. If the error dot length is greater, that means form is invalid data whatever you are typing test property if you have touched the form or it just initial first time load okay so you can see the dollar data dot items so here we are trying to print okay what is the data shape what is the error object shape and what is the touched shape this is how we can access all these properties touched data and errors so let's see if error is there you can just print the stringify representation of error because the minimum length must be of one character and the five character, right? So if I enter one, right, you can see the items. This is the data I got. This is the error object and the test, uh, current test is false. So if I make any anything empty, it will start complaining in the end right item zero item must be at least one character so i mean you can explore it if you can use it with the jord also it takes you can see what this create form method contains all the initial values on submit and uh, schema also you can pass whatever the schema against which you want to validate this create form is coming from felting uh, we can also look into how the error handling is done you can see once you get the errors, you can access errors using dollar errors, dollar touch property, similarly dollar form, dollar data. You can add a multiple validations, a synchronous validation also. Like let's say you are writing a sign up form, you want to check if user exists or not with the same email. These are simple validations. If you don't want it to use some kind of a JORD schema, uh, let's say with the JORD, how it works. So you will just add a validator JORD. Here you specify the schema and just pass it like this extends validator schema, right? So this will do the validation for your form. This is the simple schema you have added. So this is the validator. You just pass the validator. Okay, so this is how it works. You can explore it and you can start using it in your swelled kit forms also if you are writing the component interactions client side only if you are writing a server side then this validation will go to the server side and you will use jord validator the schema json validator which you will validate the json object which you are receiving at the server side 